how blessed we are for the witness and the stories and the call God has placed on our lives. We may not be sitting out under the fig tree when we hear Jesus calling our name. But as people of faith, there is a place where God taps into our hearts and places that just fit. And God uses our gifts. How grateful we are to receive these stories and um, these witnesses of of God's call on um, people's lives in our midst. And there is something about receiving people's stories, even if we think we know them, that connects us in a deeper way and we learn something new in this moment. And it is good. Let us take a moment to bow before God in in prayer. God of all races and nations, we praise you for your faithful servants who have done justice, who have loved mercy, who have walked humbly with their God. We thank you for apostles, martyrs, leaders, and saints, for humble folk whose names were never in the history books, or in the news, but are recorded in your book of life. We thank you for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and for all your children who have been filled with your vision for our lives and have worked to bring your vision into reality. We thank you for our speakers today who offered their lives with such authenticity and vulnerability. We thank you for their willingness to share their stories. Let us pray for all the earth, the church, and all those in need. Let us pray for the world, for leaders of nations, that wisdom and integrity will prevail for the people for the good of all people, especially those who find themselves in poverty. For regions torn by conflict. That peace may reign and living become an enterprise of construction rather than destruction. Let us pray for all people of faith, for the unity of the body of Christ. That divisions might not turn people away from the church. We pray for Hindus, Muslims, Buddhists, and Jews, for Sikhs, Baha'i, for people of no faith. We pray that wherever prayers are raised up, the one God of all will hear for all people who nurture life in the name of a greater good. Let us with all humility pray for our own nation. We pray for a peaceful transfer of power as it occurs on Inauguration Day this Wednesday. We pray for Congress that they would lead We pray for the Supreme Court and all judges, for state governments, city councils, school boards, who are all making difficult decisions in the midst of the pandemic. We pray for all who have power to make policy, that they would do so for the common good that all consideration be given to what is most healthy for people and creatures and for the environment, your creation. Let us pray for those in need, 
for all who are hungry in our nation and in the world. For those who have no home, no place to call home, and not no adequate employment. For those who are either unjustly or justly imprisoned. For people who live in fear for any reason. God of peace, we live in troubled and anxious times. When those around us are angry or despairing, give us peace of heart. Holy One, you have not given up on us. Shine your light within us. Crucified One, you have been here before. Sustain us with your presence. Give us the wholeheartedness to mourn our brokenness, to confess it before you, and then to rise and to get to work. Give us the resilience to stay faithful, even in the shadow of evil, to continue to do justice, to love mercy. Loving one, lead us. Lead us in wisdom, redeem our fear, redirect our despair, revive our spirits. Give us hope and dissatisfaction with the way things are. Give us strength and patience. Give us humility and courage. Give us love that will not quit in the face of evil. Be among us, be with us, be in us. Guide us to live by your vision, working to build the beloved community wherever where everyone is welcome, all are valued, power is shared, privilege is no more, and all your children know wholeness and well-being. Faithful God, hold our hearts in yours and grant us your peace. Through Jesus Christ, we pray. And let us continue in prayer with the small family as they lead us in the Lord's Prayer. Please join me in the prayer that Jesus taught us together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this time of worship. Whether you found yourself in real time on Zoom this morning, where you could feel a sense of connection um, with the people who are here, where you can see one another's faces and names, or whether you find us later this week, on Facebook or on YouTube. It is good to know that we are connected to this body of Christ, to this faith community. Thank you for gifts given for our speakers today, sharing their stories and um, the places where it feels like vocation or call. Thank you for the gifts of your time and energy and your prayers. Thank you for the gifts and monetary resources that you send in to support this, your church. We are grateful um, that you continue to support this ministry of, of our church. And if you ever forget how you might contribute to um, our financial resources, uh, there's a slide in front of you if you are able to see. And now I would invite Stuart to lead us in our prayer of dedication. Let us join our voices together. God of abundant life, enrich the ministries of our congregation as you continue to call your faithful people in the world. Bless the gifts that have been given to support the ministries of this church as expressions of our love and commitment that they may bring closer to fulfillment your reign of peace and love.
through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. That was my bad. I meant to unmute myself, and I ended up muting Stuart instead. <laughs> Sorry about that, Stuart. <laughs> Pretty soon they'll take the host powers away from me. Announcements for our life together. If you have announcements, I invite you to place them in the chat. Um, the one big announcement is uh, our annual meeting, our church conference. It's coming up this Wednesday evening, January 20th at 6.30 p.m. It is also the day of the inauguration, and uh, some of you will be following that closely, but we hope that you will tune in to our broadcast um, at 6.30. Um, most of you should have received an email from um, Kelly, our office administrator, including the annual booklet that is 40 pages long. Um, if you would like a printed copy, I'm happy to deliver and I already have some of you on my list that I know would appreciate a printed copy. But if you um, don't think that you're already on my list, please uh, send me a private chat, a text, an email to let me know that you would like to be included and um, I will drop one off at your doorstep. I'll do a quick check to see. I don't see any other announcements in the chat. Um, receive this benediction. Eternal one, may your deep peace sustain us guide us and give us love and courage for the sake of the mending of our world. Amen. Our benediction hymn is, I want to walk as a child of the light. In singing this hymn, we feel the spirit of epiphany unfold. The hymn communicates deep conviction in joining with Christ, the light of the world in a journey of faith, a journey of discipleship. First, we declare in the first verse that I want to follow Jesus. The second verse is I want to look at Jesus. And finally, we want to be with Jesus. We will be singing with a, pre -re with a recording of this hymn from last January, pre-pandemic. Some of your voices are included in this recording. And the recording is complete with some of the background noise that our congregation makes. And so this is us, let us sing.